Today on Foundation Lady, we're going to be talking about a foundation that's been getting a lot of buzz lately, the Ulta Complexion Crush Foundation. And today I'll be using the shade Fair Neutral. On top, we have a freshly applied swatch of Fair Neutral, and on the bottom, a dry swatch. And speaking of swatches, let's go ahead and give you some comparisons here. First up, we have today's foundation, which is the Ulta Complexion Crush Foundation in Fair Neutral, followed by IT Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow in Fair, the Kosas Revealer Foundation in Light Neutral 140, and the Misha M BB Cream in number 21. And here are those exact same swatches, but in sunlight. So here we are starting out on the left side with this very buzzed about foundation. It just seems to be everywhere these days, so I'm really excited to try it. And as always, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on it. So if you'll stay tuned until the end, I'm going to do a new section called Accolades and Advice, where I spill the beans, the good and bad about the foundation. So stay tuned for that. And while I'm applying this foundation, let's go ahead and jump right into the basics about it. This foundation is Ulta Store brand foundation. You get one ounce or 30 mil for $14 US. It's a medium coverage. And as far as the finish goes, on one area of the website, it says it's a natural finish. On another, it says it's a natural matte finish. We'll talk about that in a minute. It comes in 26 inclusive shades. There's no fragrance, no SPF, and it's vegan, cruelty-free, and contains clean ingredients. As I apply with clean fingers on the forehead, let's talk about the finish. As I mentioned, I read on the website on one area that this was a natural finish, on another area that this was a natural matte finish. I personally would just take the matte out of it. I have normal to somewhat dry skin. I did not use a hydrating primer this morning. And you can see as I'm putting it on that it has kind of a, almost a dewy finish to it as it's being applied. And I found that even once it dried, it still had just that nice, soft, beautiful sheen to it, but it definitely didn't come across to me as matte. So just be aware of it. They say that this is for all skin types, but I think if you run very oily to somewhat oily, you might find that this is gonna slip a little bit on your skin. So just be aware if you have oily skin, you might need a little bit of a mattifying primer underneath to start. So let's talk about dry time. To me, this foundation almost felt like a moisturizer as I was putting it on, which I actually really like. But because of that moisture, keep in mind, it's gonna take a little bit longer to dry. This came in at just over 22 minutes before I could touch it with my finger without it transferring back off onto my finger. As far as application method goes, sponge, brush, fingers, they all worked really well. The brush gave me a little bit more coverage, but I decided to go back with my sponge to see if I could build up a second layer, if I could get this closer to full coverage and what would happen. Having had experience with it now, I will tell you that next time, I'm just gonna go in with the one layer. I think it gives a really beautiful, simple, medium finish when you go in with one layer. You'll see in my end of day picks, because I tried to build it up so much, I did end up with a little bit of creasing in my laugh lines around my mouth and a little bit in the lines between my eyebrows. So I definitely think if you're someone that has lines on your face, that going in just a little bit lighter, especially over those areas, is gonna give you a much nicer finish. So as we go in with close-ups, you can see that it just has a really pretty natural sheen to it. I can really see at this point why people are raving about it. While I'm putting some of my other face products on top, all of which I will link below, let's talk a little bit about the shade. I picked this out online, so honestly, I was just happy that I got as close as I did to my shade with this color, but be aware that this is a neutral shade, and I noticed out in sunlight that it pulled a little bit yellow on me. So if you have the chance to go in store and swatch it for yourself, I highly suggest that. So I haven't used a lot of the Ulta brand products, but the ones I've used have been really good. So I was trying to figure out why I haven't used more of them. And I have a couple of theories. And I want you to tell me if you are the same way with this. But in my Ulta store, the Ulta brand products are at the end, right before you line up to make your purchases. And honestly, by the time I get to that line, I've been in there maybe an hour, I have 50 swatches on my arm, and I just want to go get a snack. You know what I mean? So I think that's part of it. And I think the other part is that the packaging is just kind of simple. 
there's nothing wrong with it. It's very sleek. It's very classy. But, you know, beauty is a visual medium. And yes, I am a sucker for cute packaging. And so I think maybe because it's just not very flashy, it just sometimes doesn't catch my eye, which I'm going to have to work on because I definitely think there are some really good products in this line. But let me know if you use Ulta products, what you think of them, if you've had a good or bad experience with them. I'm actually really curious about that. So let's go into accolades and alerts. I've had the chance to experience this foundation now, and I want to give you my opinions on it. So as far as accolades go, this is a very reasonably priced foundation. And in fact, it's cheaper than a lot of drugstore foundations. So that's wonderful. It also has a beautiful finish. It doesn't feel drying on the skin at all. And I could definitely see myself reaching for this, especially in cooler months, winter, when I need that extra little burst of moisture on my skin. I really love how it feels on the skin. As far as alerts go, just keep in mind that this one takes a little while to dry. As with any foundation that feels a little bit more creamy or a little bit more moisturizing, it can have the tendency to transfer easier. So just be aware of that. Those of you that wear glasses, I wore glasses for about half the day yesterday, and I definitely noticed when I took the glasses off the area where they were, it had a little bit of a smudge in it, so be aware of that. Also, if you're extra oily, you're definitely going to want to go in with a mattifying primer first. Play around with it, but that's my guess for you. And if you have fine lines or deep lines on your face, go lightly over those areas to avoid end-of-day creasing. Thanks so much for spending time with me today so we could chat about foundation. I hope you have a beautiful week and I'll see you soon.